What up, Flicky? Oh, hello. Yo, what's up, bro? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good, dude. Uh, you sound like a nice guy. I'm, uh, I'm about that life. No, 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 no. You kill me, bro. You work for that one. Here, I'm gonna turn around. Uh, Hurry, right, kill me for overtime. Kill me for overtime. He seemed like a nice guy, and I, I f him a little too much. See, look, I'm not actually an asshole. All right, I may be a rough coach. I may be tough, but I'm fair, and I have, I have a heart. It's there, I, I think. All right, so we're landing back at a building. We have a skull above our head, so I'm assuming he died here, right? That's kind of the, the tell. Not sure how he died. Maybe he broke his ankles because he doesn't seem too concerned with what's around him. Now, judging by the gulag, his aim and accuracy definitely needs some work. So let's 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 get some insight on it. Let's let's look around. Let's see what's going on and see if we can help your boy out. At the end of the day, look, we may pick a lot of fun, and it's funny when we do. But I do want people to be better at the game, man. There's really no reason people should be suffering from the game. And I, I do hold Activision accountable to why a lot of you guys are bad at the game. I think uh, having crutches for so long in all the Call of Duties has done nothing but separate the skill gap even further. Like this fight right here, like we we've got other missions to do. We need to get our loadout. I thought he was gonna shoot the guy. Never mind. But yeah, we need to get we need to get money for a loadout. We need to get some items. Your goal needs to be get loadout as fast as humanly possible. I would not worry about this dude at all. This guy's definitely booking it. He's flying all the way across the cargo. Look at this man. So bye. So again, stay locked in, stay focused on what you guys need. Loadout is your primary focus always and forever. All right, so let's talk about momentum because I'm gonna cut out a lot of this video because they've done a whole lot of nothing. They went into cubby and kind of sat there and, and, and traded weapons, traded ammo. But again, you wanna get your loadie before the free loadie. It does two things. One, it gives you leverage on try hard enemies that get their loadies in the first few minutes like myself. And two, you now have a regain loadie from the free one. Getting the free loadie is awesome, I get it, but I always wanna use it as a regain loadie. Even though it's a battle royale and your mission is to win, you really wanna get in fights because to help you win, you need to help the lobby kill off players. You can't just hide the whole time and avoid fighting to get it done. We've yet to see him get in a fight. We are five minutes into the match. I wanna see him get a little aggressive. We also have money, so I'd start with make, making my way to the buy station and get a UAV. You can always get kills and get active by getting positioning. You don't have to just full send every team when I say get active with it, but I wanna see you at least get to a good spot. It still is early game, so it's kind of hard to tell where the zone's gonna go and where to gatekeep, but you can still do it. We're dead center. The circle's going to shift here, especially in the first zone, split it with the river, 70% of it's over here. It's gonna finish somewhere around here. So we need to go ahead and start getting in position because you're gonna have a lot of people there. On the flip side, if you wanna get a little bit more aggressive with positioning, again, you can gatekeep. You can go play the edges over here and kill people running in. You're not gonna get that many kills because these guys are probably already fucked off, but keep that mentality every zone. Get a good position, get one that can gatekeep, and rack up kills the easiest way possible by holding. We're being no, that's oh. I was about to say we're being shot at, but I, for a second I thought our teammate was shooting us low key. Get off, run, no, leave. He's on the ground. Ah, there's two of them. Flicky, no. I really wanted to judge his aim and accuracy, but he never he never did. Moving on to Captain Dog 2317 and his boyfriend. Me. No, I'm kidding. Why, why can't I? Is it glitched? Oh, uh, oh! We're gonna analyze his aim. This video hopefully will be primarily on aim and momentum, which we covered a little bit of momentum, and here we have JS Mastro. Holy shit, this is gonna be interesting. Fuck this loot. Fuck it. Bro, you are $700 away from a loadie. Grab the money. Oh, fuck you. Oh! Guys, if you have bad aim and accuracy and you're having trouble multitasking, here's what happened. This is a perfect time to point out why paddled controllers are so important. He went prone, so he had to take his finger off the joystick and hit the button that prones, right? When you guys are multitasking, especially in the middle of a fight, it's always good to have these buttons here. That way you can use those and always keep your thumbs on the joysticks. Your goal is to always keep your thumbs on the joysticks. There are some times when you don't have to, AKA when you're running around why whying your ass off, I'm fine with that. But when it comes to sliding, jumping, crouching, or going prone, you guys need a paddle controller. Some people can play claw. I can't, most players can't. I know paddle controllers are expensive. But I'm saying right now, if you're in the market, check it out. Try out aim controllers today. I've had five different brands of paddle controllers. I will not name the other ones. This is by far the only one that I fuck with. These have not broken on me. Check out aim controllers today. If you use code SAVAGE at checkout, you will get a massive discount. Not no 5% bullshit, a big old thick one. So make sure you check it out today. Link will be in the description and I will pin it in the comments for you guys as well. Okay, again, we need to be momentum, right? We have a primary objective. We need to get our teammate back. I'm not, I don't care about what's in there. I don't care about none of that. I know we don't have guns we want. I know we don't have our loadout. I get that. We want to try to find money for a loadout, but we're in a bad spot. We got to rotate where? I'm going to give you one guess. Right here. Hey, Flicky. 
we got to go over here. Did I not call that? Did I not call that? And again, it was a very easy read. It's nothing special. But the fact that these guys aren't doing it makes me think most players are not even looking at their map. Most players aren't even trying to read the map. And most players have no idea how to read the map. So we need to go ahead and get out of here, bro. We had a buy next to us. We have enough for our teammate. Let's go ahead and get him back. Unfortunately, there is a team on the buy. We need to get the fuck out of here. Eduardo. Eduardo. That's that's ballsy to be standing out there in the middle of the open like that when you know they're there. But hey. Now, I would anticipate enemy team would be here. Yep, there they are, running away. I know it's not wall hacks, but again, buy stations. Cut your shoot, cut your shoot, cut your shoot, cut your shoot, you're, beam you're been beamable. Flicky, I'm sorry, brother. I was spectating, man. All right, our teammate can land. Good shit, good shit. A little bit of momentum right there. Paying attention to the money, dropping the money, getting your loadie as fast as possible. Watch the sniper. Don't get fucked this roof. Yeah, get off that bitch. Don't worry about them. They got to come to you guys. Oh, this is a moment I would kind of go prone behind the loadout. I always tell you guys not to, but that's that moment right there. Get the zip and get the fuck out. Get the zip and get the fuck out. Okay, or we cannot take the zip. We got a beautiful home on this snap. I don't like this. Let's see what Master does. Okay, let's go back. Run. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Plate, plate, plate. Just keep moving, just keep moving, keep moving. Use, use the truck as cover. You want to separate yourself from the enemy's line of sight. That way, if they lose distance, you might be able to lose them completely. I'm not mad at this play at all. Again, it's, I want you guys, and again, I want you guys to fight, but some fights you just shouldn't take, and that was definitely 100% one of those fights. So it's unfortunate now, bro, because of a decision we made. Oh my Christ almighty. Nice. Enemy running to the right side too. We need to keep separating our distance. They've got a flank on us right now. We've got a guy on the rooftop as well. Push that. His teammate's close by though, so be careful. All right, push back some more. I like that. We got to watch for the rooftop guy that's sniping though. He's, oh, yep, yep. Oh, the wall. We are now pinched between two teams. And if rooftop pays attention, we're not pinched between three. I have no idea what the fuck play this is. What, what, what are, what are we doing? Honestly, did he need munitions? I didn't look at his ammo. He might have. We need to go. We need, fuck that dude. We need to go. I'm worried about the team to our right-hand side behind us. I mean, it's an easy kill for sure. What's up to our left? This is very dangerous fight. I don't like this one bit. It's making bad decisions left and right right here. Nice. There's a glint. You see it? Good shit. Good observation. Good observation. Not staying tunnel vision. Don't repeat the same area. Oh my God, you're getting fucked up, bro. You saw when he went for the execute. We saw that, right? Get the flare, get the flare. Nice. Caution. Yeah. Run, bitch. Run. He gonna kill you. Now the enemy's gonna play that. Watch that half wall. Watch the half wall. Watch the half wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yep. You see his foot sticking through the wall. We gotta fight this. All right, good help right there, brother. And honestly, good movement from Maestro. And there's a team on the roof that I was worried about as well. I didn't like the fight in general. I said it multiple times. I hated it. There were two teams on ground level and the guy on the roof. So there were a shit ton of teams there. It was a very bad fight to pick. Unfortunately, he made that decision. Again, decision making on this squad has been a huge fucking penalty to their gameplay. When they saw the guys on the bridge sniping them, they should have anticipated that they were gonna get fucked up. There are two reasons why. One, if they jumped down, they got all that cover, those buildings, those walls, and the moment they started spamming nade, I knew they were pushing. Two, even if they would have played that bridge, even though we could have held them, we still had to go out in the open, relying on smokes. Meaning, they still could have beamed us with their snipers as we're crossing in the open. So again, the zip would have been the best play. They didn't shoot it down. That would have been the fucking call right there. But here we are again, still on a hard regain, man. This is their third attempt and they have not been able to recover. All right, here we have Daddy Docs. I don't know what it means, but I like it. Double D. TFK? Nope, he's back. Good pre-fire. He knew he was getting pushed from the direction he got shot at. Just started fucking pre-firing and, and was able to fuck us up. Good shit. All right. Sorry, Eduardo, you're out for the count. Moving on to... Oh, that is unfortunate. Wake up. New safe zone located. Go back to sleep. All right, moving on to Daddy Docs. All right, so our only chance... I don't like that he came here because it's out of zone and we got to rotate. This, this, this would not have been where I went. I would have... Uh, I don't know. Is there anything that's popping out on the map to you guys where you think you should have gone? Or at least look that direction. If there's a team there, fine. Don't go there. I get it. But he didn't even look. He just saw a vision on this area. And I get you want to get your teammates up. I understand that. But you have to think of the totality of the match. Where are you trying to go? Here. 
Where's the circle going? The opposite direction. Who's gonna be here? Several teams. Do you have any distance to cover? Absolutely. Do you have smokes? One. Is that really gonna help you? Hell no. What weapons do you have? Dog shit. So can you really afford to get your teammate back right now? Nope. You're gonna get this kill and then you're gonna die. His teammate took the zip. I would imagine he's probably gonna land on the ridge and fuck us up. That might be that might be another team. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You need to reload your gun, brother. I think I don't know if he's out of ammo in his other one, but he needs to reload that one too. Alright, we're gonna push the fight. Interesting. Now loadout right now is gonna be a crazy fucking push because now it's on the edge. Now people are rotating by it. Now people are fighting by it. Before, not so much. He's gonna make a play for it anyway. I promise he's gonna be a guy at this tower. I promise you that. Or at the rot next to the tower, but it's definitely a guy there, no doubt. All right, moving on to Baby Goose and company, rocking a total of nine kills for Baby Goose. We got Pipes rocking four, all right. <laughs> Gameplay I'm expecting right here from Pipes. Baby Goose seems like he might be with it though. He's probably, he's looking at his team like, what the fuck are you doing, brother? Get up, pussy. We've got people popping up mini map, clusters going out. You know there's a team there, no doubt. Six teams left. We need to know where five are. We've got buildings, we've got portable buys. Definitely a team gonna be there, hence the buy, hence the cluster strike landing on it. We got another team fighting up there. So now we know where three teams are, where three teams aren't. You need to be analyzing this through the map because not only does it help you just know how many players on the map or how many teams to fight, but two, it tells you where they're at. So you can either A, push them or B, pick a smarter rotation. I really be more focused on getting to this building right now and playing this than I would be just sitting here watching them snipe at me. They're shooting snipers. Run to the fucking building, brother. You're a crazy man. And you see, dude, if he would have just ran instantly instead of sitting here doing what he was doing, he would have been fine. He hesitated to stop to stare at the enemies, which slowed down him getting to the cover. Then when he self res with the precision on him, he decided to stop and throw his smoke. There was already a smoke active. We would have been fine. Get out of the precision's way. The enemies have probably already pushed here. If they haven't, they're crazy. Now they do have a ridge they could still play, which is not a bad play. I say they're crazy for not pushing this. I would have just because these two guys are, are fucked up. It would have been an easy kill on them. But now we need to rotate. These guys are now, it looks like they're fighting. So I would third party this because we kind of want that building and they're engaged. You could easily third party. There still might be a guy at the rock though. So watch that right hand side. Oh, fuck. And look, they had all the smokes in the world. Again, dude, the moment we saw the fight, just push it. Smoke your way and push that fight. Don't worry about these guys on the roof. Fuck them. I don't know why your teammate was crouched out there shooting at something and getting fucked up on the side, but we should have instantly pushed up, getting the momentum. I know you guys don't want to take fights, man, but a lot of times you're avoiding it. It's just putting yourself in a worse position. I mean, fuck. Again, two smokes. It was, oh, they got second too, bro. It was a winnable. F he had smokes. He didn't use his tools. He didn't develop momentum. Good shots on the enemy right there, by the way. And if they would have pushed that, they could have not only third party the team that was camping there, but one of the winner's teammates also. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like on the channel, subscribe today, and uh, I'm back, baby.